everyone, it's Sherry. I'm dropping by today. I thought I'd better do a quick topic and talk to everybody because I had a friend contact me on Messenger. I want to know if I'm still okay. She hadn't heard from me since last weekend and I'm like, where'd that week go? <laughs> Anyways, I have uh, got a topic for you today. I was listening to live streaming. Oh, and it was from Florida live streaming a conference teal 2009 and one of my takeaways from one of the speakers put me on my blog topic for the day and I thought well hi Sandy I'm going to do Facebook live on it and share it with the rest of you so my question today is are you suffering from SOS do you know what it is well SOS is that shiny object syndrome you know squirrel there we go so <clears throat> so many people suffer from it and I was one of them too I seem to be a collector of things totally unaware of it until we moved after 27 years at the same location well I guess I knew now deep the kids they were off on their own and of course they left all their lovely treasures behind. You know, the treasures that mean nothing to them when they graduate from grade 12, but they turn around and when they have little kids, those things mean so much to them. But right when you're trying to get out of home and make your way in the world, they don't mean anything. And I just can't throw a picture of the girls' buddies away and their friends because I just can't because they're irreplaceable. So. We moved, and I seem to have four, four of everything. Huh. I resolved not to buy anything until I'd used up it all. It seemed when we moved across the yard to the new house when the girls were in grade 12, it just added to the problem. Even though I know I threw a whole 16-foot horse trailer worth of crap out, you know, things that you just accumulate. But we lived in the country. We didn't have garbage pickup. We had to burn our garbage. Then you couldn't burn your garbage on a windy day. These are my excuses anyways. And the burning barrel was full so you couldn't burn those extra boxes and all that. And you lived in the middle of nowhere. So recycling was, you had to remember to take it for a two hour drive to the city. And you had enough other things to do versus recycling. I bet some of you know exactly where I'm coming from, especially my PF friends. So they live in the same sort of situation. So anyways, and then I would come home at night after working my nine to five and I was tired. Well, let's face it. I rarely work nine to five. It was more nine to nine if you know me because I believe in doing a good job and getting it done right. And I didn't want to see it the next day. So, well, and I'm partially reading from my notes here. See, my iPad for my notes, because I put this in an IG post, and then I blogged it on medium.com, and then I put it on my website blog, blog, and I thought, I better Facebook Live it, because then I'm going to repurpose this, and I'm going to turn around and put it on YouTube and Vimeo. And that's part of the stuff I've been learning in the last month. But let's get back to my topic. I seen that I had... A full collection of oils. I had more than duplicates of them. Uh, my excuse, I forgot to change the order. Mm. I was a collector of self-development courses. Oh, it seemed, oh, that looks like an interesting course. Maybe I should get that. Sounds perfect. Yeah, but did I ever get them done? Yes, the SOS, it was kicking in. And some of these environmenty, environmental friendly cloths, you know, the ones that have cleaning supplies with them and laundry detergents, I love them, but <clears throat> they seem to have developed growing syndromes like rabbits. I just get more and more of them. They're all brand new, but you ever heard of a dryer ball? So <clears throat> I thought they were pretty cool. So I seem to collect them all under the disguise of if I have too many, they'd make perfect shower gifts, a dryer ball and an essential oil. And I bet some of you or some of your daughters 
are going, yeah, I got that for a shower present. Now I know what it is. Yep, confirmed. SOS was running wild at my house. How did I kick the habit, habit you ask? As you may well recognize or have heard that little voice, you know, that's up over your shoulder going, you have that, you don't need it, don't buy it. Ah, moving sure smacked me upside the head, I'll tell you. Ah, I actually got to the point of, I don't care, just throw it away. There was so much to pack and so much to move, and it's like, ah! So my new rule of thumb, if I cannot find it, my husband threw it away. But really, I probably have three more of them somewhere. Just have to find them. It's amazing what I didn't have to buy because I already had it. And I seen it when I was packing. Just now, where is it? Hmm. And try to get me to buy something now. Nope, nope, not gonna. I bet I already have it. And I do not need it. And of course, when we moved, I got laid off my job after 24 years. So my <clears throat> financial flow seemed to suffer a little bit, it seemed to kind of stop. So, oh well, that's life. So it was time to revamp my life and figure out a better way. So I've kept your time long enough. So feel free to go to my website, follow my newsletter, follow my blog, laugh along with me here, share, whatever. I'm just rambling on. So anyways, if you want to know more, or if you want links to any of those things, click that button on my profile. And those buttons are hard to click, but I'll tell you what, it's easier to click to talk to me than it is to click to do a Facebook Live, right? Bye everyone. Oh, hi Krista. I'm just kicking off here, so you'll have to listen to the replay. Bye.